Hi guys, welcome to Challenge Monday number 12. Um, today we are going to start working on Leave It. Um, Leave It is so useful. I use it with stuff that I drop on the ground. I use it with passing dogs if I have a reactive or anxious moment with other dogs. Um, using Leave It with just about anything in the environment. If you're sniffing on a walk and there's a, you know, really long you know, message board that they've left on the corner at a fence post where every dog has peed on and left their scent. You know, your dog's standing there reading. They're reading all the messages that all the dogs before them have left. So we can use Leave It at that moment to move on. Um, so Leave It, you want to practice inside. You want to get it really strong. You want to start incorporating it using different objects, not only food. Um, you also want to, they're ready to go. They're down here at my feet laying down going, please, we're ready to work. Um, so you can use it, you know, with shoes, with your puppies, like teaching them, you know, certain objects. If there's an object that your dog really loves to steal, practice leave it with your dog um, using that object. And you'll find that they actually leave it alone a lot more. So we're just going to... Um, start here and the very first thing that I do is I take some treats and you know I have a handful here and I'm gonna hold them in my hand. Come here Ringo. Over here. And I'm just gonna hold it in my hand and I'm gonna let him do whatever he thinks that it's gonna take. As long as the dog isn't hurting you, let him try to get it. Good boy. And you see, I clicked him for disengaging. I'm going to throw Ruby one over there for laying down. Ringo. And you notice I'm not saying the cue yet. I'm not saying the cue because I want them to learn exactly what I'm asking before I start to name it. So I'm just going to put this down here so that you can see a little better. So I'm just going to hold my hand out. And when he gives up and looks away, that's my click point, when he looks away and disengages. So this is fairly easy. It may take you a little bit, but start getting those clicks in. And you'll see that after that, it starts moving really fast. And then we want to do some shaping. So I'm going to actually move the food to the floor and I'm going to keep my hand over top of it at first. I'm going to show him what I have and then I'm going to cover it. Good. I'm going to move it around, make it a little interesting, show him what's there. I don't call that totally disengaged right now because he's still thinking about it. He's still looking. There's my click point, but I couldn't click because I was holding on to the camera. Baby, sit. Come sit there. Good girl. So I'm just getting a couple more treats here. I'm going to put it on the floor. And you see, I'm still not naming it because he's still going after the food. <laughs> Good boy. So now he's starting to get the idea that I want him to leave the food alone. Good 
job. So if I get to that point and I can put this food down and get you know, say, I bet you $50. If I lay this food down in front of my dog's face, he's not going to touch it because we've practiced this enough. Then you can show him the food. We want them to see what we're actually asking them to leave. So make sure when you say the words that your dog is looking at what you want them to leave. So I'm going to put it down. Leave it. Good boy. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. So there's your first two steps in practicing leave it. Um, next week I will add um, a couple more exercises, but this will give you enough to practice this week. Happy training, everybody. Bye.